About to attempt to start the 6.5 for the first time. Only wiring I need right now is the fuel cutoff solenoid when I power it. It's going to open up fuel to all the injectors. Injectors have already been cracked and bled. Got all the return lines hooked up. Um, I'm going to have to hit the glow plugs briefly before I start it. Uh, that's down here. So um, hook these this wire up temporarily. This wire will stay open to keep it running. Uh, purple wire down here is my starter wire. Once I hit it with that open, uh, after the glow plugs, it should fire right up. Got a board to choke the turbo in case it tries to run away, which it would probably already done. Uh, fire extinguisher, just in case. So I'm back the next morning after starting it last night and just wanted to go over a few things that um, kind of made the engine run rough and smoke a lot. Uh, first off, you know, this is a completely fresh system. Everything was out of it. Everything was worked on. Um, so that was the first time it was running and had to purge a little bit of air out of the lines before it actually started. Because everything was sitting so long um, and I tried purging some things before I had a bucket of diesel. Um, I actually filled the filter housing with seafoam and then the line itself was full of um, mostly some super tech injector cleaner and a little bit of beer. Um, so that's probably why it smoked a little bit in the beginning. Also, if you notice in the video, if you watch this wastegate actuator, it actually kind of bounced a few times then it popped open and it got stuck if it goes down all the way it gets stuck there and I got to kind of tap it with a hammer a couple times to get it back up that's not going to happen once I got wastegate actuator on it and I'll just do a spring type already kind of working on some ideas for that also the reason it was idling so low is because I don't have the throttle bracket on it right now uh, typically there'd be a throttle bracket here and you would set idle off of that bracket additionally there's a cold start switch. If that was triggered, if that was all hooked up and triggered, uh, there is a timing advance right here that delivers uh, fuel a little bit advanced of normal. Um, that helps with cold starts. And there's actually a solenoid that goes in here that gives you a little bit more throttle for cold idle. Those are not hooked up, obviously. So I just wanted to cover those real quick. Overall, I think it ran great last night um, for a first time start, cold weather, not having any of uh, the cold start mitigations in place. 
not really having real diesel in it. Um, you know, those things that I was running through make it smoke a lot. No turbo was provided to it because the wastegate was wide open. But uh, after seeing it run last night, hearing it run, and it smoothed out at a higher RPM, I'm happy with that. I'm ready to finish putting it together and yank this out. Uh, probably next weekend I'll have this engine out, and then I'm taking four days uh, the weekend after that to try to get packaging in here, get everything lined up, get my mounts welded in, and I'm going to pull everything back out. We'll clean this housing out, paint it, and probably put some some good insulation back here on the firewall and kind of up through the tunnel. And then I'll eventually do that on the inside as well. So stay tuned. More to come. Hopefully have it running in the vehicle by end of the month maybe, if not mid-April.